lesson nine here. So we're going, going to take a slight different tack now. Um, I mentioned at the start of this um, series of lessons for beginner two that we would uh, um, tackle a little bit of E minor and then how to approach that. Um, and we've done all jigs so far and being mindful of that, um, we'll do this E minor um, lesson with um, a reel. So firstly, um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about how to relate E minor to its uh, to a related major. And then in the next lesson, we'll do part one and then part two in the final lesson. So the good thing about E minor is that a related key to it very much is the key of D major. And D major is what we <coughs> talked all about in the first series, beginner one. And it's... Um, Assume that everyone in this course has the, those basics in D, so we can transfer all of that to the key of E minor. Just as G major is related to A minor in terms of all the chords are available to both keys, so are the chords that are available in D major for us, they're available for the key of E minor. And this is also <coughs> for the similar reason to G and A minor, the connection is that in the key of D major, we're using a D major scale and E minor is simply the second mode of D major again it's the Dorian for those who are interested so the D major scale is the same as the E minor scale the E Dorian scale except in E Dorian we start on an E and finish on an E so this explains why the chords are the same because the notes used in traditional music in the key of E minor are the same as D so with that in mind, we'll just refresh the chords that we have in the key of D. But before we do that, obviously now we're in the key of E minor, so we're also going to introduce the fact that we can use an E minor chord here. So we have that already from the key of G as well, which is your three fingers on the bottom three bass strings. And we can leave one finger off also. But generally at the start of the tune, we might try and use the full three fingers. So we have a D chord available, obviously, because we're using all our D uh, chord structures. We have a G available also, with or without the B note. We have our A sus, or our A major, which we used in um, series one. And we also have a B minor. So we have... E minor, B minor, which we cross between a lot. It's the one and five in the key of E minor. We have a D, a G, and an A sus. <clears throat> so they are all the uh, chords available in the key of E minor that we had from D, adding the E minor. And just to remember, we're back to reels, which is common time, 4-4 four, four time, so it's back to alternate strumming all the time. <laughs> That's a slow or fast would be more a, com a more common speed time when you eventually get up to your intermediate and advanced levels. So with that introduced, um, we will leave it there for this lesson and we will learn how to accompany in the key of E minor for a tune called Rolling in the Barrel in the next lesson. So we'll see you there. <laughs>